Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be looking at Scorpio 8th house energy in depth, okay? So we're going to be going super in depth. This was a subscriber request back from when I did the 8th house video. We're going to be going in depth. So if there is some information that is repeated, it's just the stream of consciousness, okay? Because a lot of the time in my videos, I am channeling information. So I'm only going to be doing this video for Scorpio and for Pisces 12th house because I feel like these two energies are highly misunderstood. It's like, I feel like people get stuck in the shadows of these energies is really what that is and they are so beautiful when they're expressed in their highest most divine version so i'm kind of here to basically lead you guys and guide you guys through the different ways that scorpio can be expressed so people don't get stuck in the lower versions of scorpio which a lot of people do and then what tends to happen is when you're stuck in the lower versions you're basically opening yourself up and you kind of just get stuck there okay that's really how it works we're going to go in depth throughout the video so this video is for you if you do have scorpio placements maybe you only have one scorpio placement and you really resonate with scorpionic energy maybe you have a scorpio stellium eighth house stellium also so all these sorts of things if you resonate with scorpio energy is probably why you clicked on the video so welcome so let's talk about scorpionic energy because the thing is it's funny my scorpio videos always do the best because i feel like people who have scorpio energy in their chart know subconsciously or like on a higher self level that like they are meant for something great i mean everybody is but people with scorpionic energy are just like magical okay is really what that is they are able to transmute they're able to heal they're able to get to that highest version which is the phoenix rising okay so you're gonna have different people express scorpio differently some people are gonna say three aspects of scorpio some people are gonna say seven I like to say three, okay, just because it's easier, okay? So we're going to look at the three aspects of Scorpio. They really go through, you know, these three phases, and the ultimate end goal is to get to that Phoenix rising state, which is the final state. So the first level of Scorpio is when you are in that Scorpionic state. So it's the lowest version of Scorpio. And the thing is, with the Scorpionic energy, it's like people who have this energy in their chart are highly psychic, highly intuitive, very intelligent, okay? Very, very intelligent. And what tends to happen is also people who have a lot of Scorpionic energy in their chart there is a lot of trauma, okay? There's a lot of trauma that they're meant to transmute, okay? So you're basically put into situations throughout your life, whether it starts with a family when you're born, or maybe you don't even have a family, maybe there's an orphan energy going on, maybe you got abandoned. It's like abandonment is the biggest thing with Scorpio, okay? You fear it, but it could have really been a theme throughout your life. Now, keep in mind, abandonment doesn't necessarily have to be just physical abandonment, like someone just left you somewhere. It could be emotional abandonment. So it could be abandonment in the sense that, like, you feel like you're not being accepted and you feel like you're not being seen or you feel like you're being emotionally neglected or it's like when you were a kid you were like hey look at this and like one of the parents like didn't you know reciprocate the excitement and the emotions this type of abandonment okay it's deep it's deep rooted and it's kind of like i find that especially when scorpio is unhealed okay so when they're in the lower version of scorpio and they're not aware okay and they don't they're not aware that this is happening this is the guiding factor for all of their decisions and it holds them back okay so it really really holds them back throughout life because then they're not able to fully express and be who they were truly meant to be on this earth plane okay so that's a huge thing so one of the main things that scorpio is working through is the abandonment wound um, a lot of trauma to transmute and codependency i've mentioned this in a lot of my previous videos scorpionic energy is really working through codependency because it's kind of like the abandonment wound and codependency go hand in hand okay so you might attract a lot of narcissists into your life you might attract a lot of situations where you feel like you're you're uh, compromising yourself or your belief systems to be with this person okay where it's kind of like you might feel like you get stuck in a relationship or relationships because you know a lot of the time people talk about scorpio being as really loyal and you know it's kind of like they're loyal but they're also afraid of betrayal at the same time if that makes sense so it's like when people talk about scorpio there's always like this underlying like you know they're not serious or like they're sneaky because they're highly intelligent also so it's kind of like the thing with scorpio is like they're really good at reading people they're really good at analyzing people they're really good at understanding people they're even good at like mimicking behaviors if that makes sense so it's kind of like they can mold and become the person that they think somebody wants them to be or say things to that person to basically get to be in a relationship let's say with them or to get something that they want out of that person so it's like let's say it's a job let's say it is some sort of opportunity right like this is what scorpio is really good at because it's like they understand the psychology so it's like if you have a lot of scorpionic energy in your chart obviously it depends on the rest of the chart you could be really good mediums you're going to be a really good psychic you're going to be really good at reading people and you could be interested in even psychology 
the thing is and what's so unfortunate is like in the current day that we're living in like the intuitive aspect and intuition is completely thrown out of psychology aka the feminine energy right so it's like if we could merge the intuition with the psychology world it would just be like a whole new world honestly because it's like you would intuitively be able to tap into situations right and that's what scorpio can do so it's like a lot of the time scorpio goes in a different direction so they can't go in like the traditional route of psychology because it's like psychologists can't actually say things to people they can lead the people to have their own like uh, epiphanies and these sorts of things so that's why a lot of the time scorpion scorpionic energy goes into things like mediumship right where they can actually tell people things right or where they go into psychic work or they go into things like um just like explaining pe to people right like to their friends and all these sorts of things right if again it depends on the on the dynamic within the friend group right or within like the friendship but that's really the thing with the scorpionic energy like they're really good psychologists they're natural psychologists they're able to detect everything they're always detecting things and it's also kind of like okay so this is another thing that happens with the scorpionic energy it's like because again in the society that we're living in intuition is very much like shunned if that makes sense it's like a lot of things are based and built upon a very like masculine but not even sh masculine it's more so shadow masculine uh way of operating right so it's like intuition is completely shunned it's completely ignored so it's kind of like the things that scorpio is picking up on it's always going to be subtle okay because scorpio is working with the energy behind the scenes so it's going to be kind of like a person says something to scorpio right and it's like Scorpio is going to know whether, whether they're lying. They're going to know whether they're actually telling the truth. They're going to know. And maybe that person isn't even aware. I mean, if they're lying, they're probably aware. But like, maybe that person is not aware that there's like some sort of shadow trait that they're expressing. But Scorpio picks up on it. So right away, what ends up happening is like the Scorpio person is going to basically be like, you're lying. Like they're going to call them out. Because like the thing with Scorpio is like, and the thing I find that people don't talk about Scorpionic energy is like, they also have egos. Like people talk about Leo, like having the biggest ego. But I find Scorpionic energy to have egos as well so it's kind of like you think i'm dumb to think like that that you're not lying like that's the energy it's like how dare you disrespect me like that is a scorpionic energy right so they pick up on these things and like let's say the person is lying right they know they're lying but sometimes it's like a subconscious shadow that the person isn't even aware that's taking place right so it's like scorpio is going to pick up on it and then there's like a gaslighting situation that happens so that's another thing that like scorpios might struggle with or suffer with it's like they see everything they see all the shadows especially shadows because scorpio deals with dark energy scorpio deals with and i don't mean dark energy in terms of like black magic and things like that it's just like people's internal shadows people internal demons right and that's why they have the eyes i talk about this in the scorpio rising video as well it's like the scorpionic energy is like intense because they are actually looking into your soul because they are picking up on things right they are picking up on things so this is what i meant earlier when i was mentioning like the intuitive aspect so because like intuition isn't something that's valued in society the scorpionic energy then retreats within itself because it's kind of like it doesn't get the um i guess appreciation it deserves for picking up on those things do you know what i mean so that's kind of what's happening with the scorpionic energy and then they kind of retreat and they go back into the back of the corner but they're actually not meant to do that they're meant to express so that's one of the biggest things with the scorpionic energy as well is that they're basically meant to express okay so they're meant to express they're meant to express what they're thinking they're meant to learn to be in their truth they're meant to learn to develop a strong solar plexus okay to be in their truth and to be in their confidence to actually say whatever is on their minds right because again what happens is people who have scorpionic energy in their chart again they're highly psychic so this could be expressed differently but it could also be that they're very clear sentient so it's kind of like they say something to the person the person gets triggered and it right like it shoots right back into their solar plexus chakra right you feel it and then that's what could happen with a scorpio person is they go back to the corner again and they're kind of like oh you know i shouldn't have said that or i shouldn't have done that but like the main thing for them to learn is that they should <laughs> they should so scorpio people basically go around like triggering people is really what that is okay there's no other way to explain it sometimes it's without realizing sometimes they do it on purpose so that's the thing with scorpio too it's like with scorpio energy it's like if they are betrayed in any kind of way like in a friendship or in any type of dynamic right they're betrayed in any kind of way or th like that situation happened where it's kind of like you thought i was dumb they're going to register it right they might not call out the person depends on the dynamic they have with the person right they might not call them out right away they're going to register it they're going to be like oh okay and they're going to basically say that little nugget for the perfect moment so it stays with that person forever that's like the little scorpion tail right i always like do this when i'm like talking with people right i'm like scorpio energy right so that's that little tail of the scorpion it's kind of like it's gonna sting you right at the moment where you're gonna remember 
forever and scorpio is gonna bring out all your shadows to the surface forever right you're gonna like it's gonna stick out in your memory because it's kind of like maybe you weren't even aware or the person wasn't even aware that they had shadows and a scorpio person came into your life and they brought everything to the surface for you so it's literally kind of like a tornado i was thinking the other day i was like thinking about scorpio energy and i was like thinking about what emojis i would use for scorpio energy and i was like okay i would use obviously a little scorpion i would use a little like a glass um eyeglass thing like magnifying glass i would use that i would use a tornado and then i was I was like i would use a little devil emoji especially when they're in like the darker and lower aspects of it because like a scorpio person is like a tornado coming through your life is really what that is because what happens with scorpionic energy is like especially in relationships they understand their partners really well they get their people on a soul level friendships everybody right they understand them on a soul level so this is why they leave such an impression on people it's like people feel like nobody understands them like the scorpio person understands them right and it's kind of like because the scorpio person has the abandonment wound they're kind of subconsciously using this okay is really what's happening they're kind of subconsciously using this to lure people in because the lower aspects and versions of scorpio are power and control so this is why you really need to learn to control the energy right so when you're still in that lower aspect where you're in like in little scorpion energy right you're basically learning people so you can grasp them into your control right so it could even be secret energies of possessiveness it could even be like possessiveness that's covert okay because scorpio energy like you really have to be able like good at detecting energy because it's like if you pick up on an unhealed scorpio they could be so subtle at like getting people into their grasp getting people into their control because again the abandonment wound is deep for them okay so it might have happened in this lifetime it could have happened in a past life right so the abandonment wound is super deep for scorpionic energy it's like they're going to again do things like like to basically figure people out to you know keep them for around okay as long as they can you know as long as they can sometimes it's forever but it's like you want to get out of that lower version of scorpio where you can actually be using these gifts because they're gifts to assist and help people right is really what the ultimate end goal is so that's kind of what happens and it's like the people on the other side who have come across the scorpio person it's kind of like they feel like they've been seen right they've been seen they've been understood and that's really what the scorpio energy is good at okay but the shadow aspect again what scorpio does and i'm just laughing because it's like they can pick up on the person's triggers and they can literally say things to trigger them right sometimes it's like not maybe even in an argument sometimes it's just like in conversation this is when you're still in like the shadow unhealed aspect it's like you're gonna pick up on that person's triggers and you're gonna exactly say it at that particular moment to trigger that person sometimes again when they're in the shadow aspect they're doing this just to do this right but again you want to get out of this energy where it's kind of like you're helping people heal through this energy so it's like in a way yeah the scorpionic energy especially when it's unhealed or in like the lower version is like a walking tornado <laughs> is really what that is because it's like they're walking around basically making other people do shadow work okay they're basically making other people do shadow work but also for them in turn they have a lot of shadow work to do themselves they have a lot of energy to transmute that's really what scorpionic energy is doing is they're here to transmute okay that's the main thing for them that's like one of the main purposes is they're here to transmute so their body is fully being used as a vessel to transmute energy that's the main thing for them i would say like that's like the main thing that they're here to do is like take lower version energy take lower version like experiences like um darker experiences all these sorts of things that could have happened shadow experiences hard experiences painful whatever right and transmute so a lot of the time we're gonna have people who have scorpionic energy who are interested in being artists who are interested in being writers obviously it depends on the rest of the chart to see like where like the rest of the talents lie to see how this is going to be channeled but the best thing for the scorpio energy to do is to be creative okay is to be creative because then you're taking the lower version emotions and experiences and transmuting them okay this is what they're doing and a lot of the time again like i mentioned or maybe i didn't mention i don't remember but it's like a lot of the time people have a lot of scorpionic energy in their chart end up being high level empaths okay so it's kind of like the word empath is like too thrown around these days not everyone is an empath most people i would say are clairsentient in general i think people are very sentient okay humans are people who think that they might be an empath are very clear sentient i would say but an actual empath are people who are put into circumstances okay that are dysfunctional or neighborhoods that are dark or neighborhoods that just have a lot of crime or just like a lot of dark energy in certain areas the person who is the empath is put into those areas and they're meant to transmute the energy through their body through their vessel and then when their task is done they leave right so you know it's hard to say because it's like people who are in like a lot of like of the lower version 
version of Scorpio, they have a lot of dark energy around them and they also have a lot of dark entities attached to them because they're not aware of what they're doing. So what happens is kind of like they get put into these situations, their vibration goes down and they get opened up and they also get um, these darker energies attached to them, right? So it kind of feels like people who are in like the lower version of Scorpio feel like probably that they're stuck or that they're stagnant because we have to look at Scorpionic energy as like, working with the sacral chakra, okay? So that's really what that is. So we have the chakras in the body, right? And the sacral chakra is the sexual chakra, okay? Sexuality is a whole different topic of its own. I'm gonna get into that shortly, right? And that probably would be a whole different video for Scorpio on its own. But it's all about the sacral chakra. So it's like when Scorpio is in its lower version, it's unmotivated, it feels drained, okay? It's taken on a lot of energies from a lot of people. It doesn't understand what's going on. The auric field is confused, right? Because again, it's taken on all these energies. So that's why Scorpio, okay? Scorpionic energy, people who have Scorpio in their chart need to spend time on their own. Okay, well, already they want to, right? There's again, memes going around where it's like, I don't like people, I wanna be on my own, all these sorts of things. But really what they need to do is they need to learn how to be alone. So they need to heal that abandonment wound. Okay, so that's the main thing, like the main thing that would help them like excel in life. Okay, so learn to be on their own and not be with people. Okay, to figure out, this is why, to figure out their energy, their own actual energy. So they know when it's like, this is my energy, this is that person's energy. I'm in this area, it's a lot of dark energy here, I'm transmuting this, and then it's kind of like, okay, when it's done, I'm going to leave, I'm not gonna let that consume me. Because what happens with the Scorpionic energy is they get consumed, they get consumed in the energy, and then the auric field is confused, right? Because it's kind of like, was this my thought? Was this this person's thought? All these sorts of things, right? So that's really what's going on with the Scorpionic energy really important to understand so that's really like what my advice would be to scorpios and people who have a lot of scorpionic energies to spend time on your own not isolate yourselves because that's what tends to happen with scorpionic energy is like they get overwhelmed right they get overwhelmed by these like tasks i guess i always call them like energetic tasks right they get overwhelmed by tasks that they've been put in energetically and then they retreat and then they go into like their corner they go into hiding scorpio's not meant to do this scorpio's meant to be in the world because you're meant to transmute energy right but you can only do this when you learn your own energy so you don't get sucked into situations this is how a lot of scorpionic or people who have scorpio in their chart get sucked into codependent dynamics with narcissists all these sorts of things because again you need to learn your own energy and you need to heal and you you need to be able to be on your own when you're able to be on your own and you don't have that abandonment wound anymore then you're able to start going into the higher versions of scorpio where then you know the next one is going to be like the ego who kind of like is soaring and kind of seeing things from a higher perspective you're understanding things better and then you're finally able to be in that phoenix rising state which is to be the manifester to be the magician to be the transmuter to be like the master manifester is really what scorpionic energy is when scorpio gets into its highest purest form you're able to manifest fast you're able to heal people you know again it doesn't have to be like you don't have to just be in like a healer position it could be healing through different things right be healing people through your art it could just be your aura by just passing by people it could just be having a regular conversation with your friend and somebody overhears that conversation these types of things right scorpio is meant to be out in the world moving around because they're basically meant to bring out other people's shadows okay and unfortunately what tends to happen also with scorpio energy energies because they're bringing out other people's shadows they're prone to psychic attack okay so again they get psychically attacked and you know the only time you can feel a psychic attack is if your vibration is low enough right so I know in the spiritual community or just like new age and all these sorts of things, the there's a huge focus on talking about raising your vibration, but really raising your vibration is really important. So again, exercise, um, washing what you eat, uh, spending time in nature, all these sorts of things that are actually going to raise your vibration, uh, going to help you cleanse okay, yourself, your auric field, so you can continue functioning. Because Scorpio has a really hard time operating here, I would say, because again, they're not, especially people who aren't like, especially Scorpios who aren't aware of what's going on, right? Scorpios who aren't aware of what's going on, they have a hard time operating on the earth plane because it's kind of like, I mentioned, they take on a bunch of energy, they don't even know that, that, that that's what's happening to them because they're transmuting the energy. And then they kind of, you know, retreat, they go into isolation, but they're not meant to be isolated. They're actually meant to be with people, all these sorts of things. So that's kind of like the lower version of Scorpio. Other things, I mean, I've mentioned here and there in my previous videos, other things like, you know, gambling, sex work, um, all the pyramid schemes, all these sorts of things that are like get rich quick, right? Scorpio is going to find themselves find themselves in these situations, okay? So this is really Scorpionic energy as well, lower level Scorpionic energy, right? Where again, it's kind of like Scorpio knows that they don't have to work, okay? It's really what that is. They know that they don't have to work hard, especially on the earth plane, because again, they're masters of energy and manipulating energy is really what that is. So it's kind of like they find themselves a lot of the time in these circumstances, especially lower level Scorpio, where it's like get rich quick, you know, um, they get 
get entangled in these dark situations like that's what the scorpionic energy really is and i didn't even mention at the beginning of this video like scorpio in the eighth house basically rules sex death rebirth um joint finances taxes and all these things and it's like in previous videos i have mentioned that it's like what do these things have in common it's all to do with control right so the lower version of scorpio is always trying to control okay control people control circumstances control um their dynamics with people like all these things right so it's like they kind of retreat into the source of get rich quick schemes right because again on the earth plane money is power right and money is control so they want money they want to amass wealth right is really what that is and they're really good at this so the higher version of scorpio would be you're able to manifest quickly you learn the laws of the universe and you manifest fast right but again what happens is scorpio is always being pulled down because they're so susceptible to energy it's kind of like they're in constant spiritual warfare is really what that is honestly is really what that is kind of like they kind of might feel like they're getting ahead and then get pulled down so it's like you really need to learn how to master your own energy be on your own and kind of push through like almost like those temptations to turn to things that are like get rich quick right um i didn't even mention like drug dealing like all these things right all these things like anything that gets money fast that's where the scorpionic energy is lower version of scorpio right so that's really what that is the next thing i want to talk about is like the sexual energy aspect of it so it's like scorpio is highly aware of the sexual energy right so this is why a lot of people say things like scorpios are freaky you know like they sleep with a lot of people all these sorts of things right so scorpio is highly aware of sexual energy i mean this could be for different reasons it could be either in this lifetime or a past life there could have been some sort of sexual trauma that had taken place or they could have carried it over from a past life right so they're like from a young age they're hyper aware of sexuality and sexual energy they learn that they can basically get what they want if they sexually manipulate and it's like when people are sexually manipulating what they're doing is asserting power is really what that is okay is really what that is and why are they asserting power because they don't feel safe right so that's really what's happening so it's kind of like you know the sexual energy again is the creative energy so it's like it's the most powerful energy on the planet so it's like you are highly aware you know again when you're in the lower version of scorpio that like again you can manifest in this way right so it's like you know scorpionic things could be things like having a lot of partners all these sorts of things like they could be doing things like sex magic without even realizing because like they could be taking on people's energy and basically propel like elevating themselves right but it's like you really have to understand how magic works to actually do these things so it's kind of like higher level of scorpio is creative once again right they're channeling that sexual energy in a creative way they are excited they're able to to you know express again right expression is really important for the scorpionic energy because it's like if it doesn't go out i was talking about this it goes in okay so that's a huge thing with the scorpio energy as well so yeah so sexuality like i can make a whole separate video on that i mean you know there's so much to say about that type of energy because it's so strong it's like you know there's tantra and all these sorts of things and it's like you know there's just so much that people don't understand in terms of that like how powerful the energy actually is so there's that so it's like scorpio because they are very much like aware of this again they can use sex as a weapon so it's like in a partnership it's kind of like if the partner is not you know acting the way they, that they want them to act they could retreat from sex right or they can be hypersexual like this is like this is like the energy right again lower i'm talking more so lower version of scorpio right so that's really what that is and it's like scorpio energy can can be like it can be manifested in the sense that like they're super hypersexual and like maybe they are interested in having a lot of partners but also it can go into like extreme celibacy like scorpio energy can literally go years okay without having sex okay like that's just like the energy of like the scorpio is really what that is okay because they're extreme like they're intense and they tend to go from one extreme to the next right and it's kind of like again subconsciously what's happening is like it has to do with power and control is really what that is so like what i would say is it's really important for a scorpio person to stabilize in their own energy first right or in general even if they have intermingled with other people cleanse themselves from their energy and stabilize in their own energy in general right before they go out into the world and they're like then more like they're approaching things more mindfully is really what that is right so anyways you can use this energy as well like the sexual energy you can use it to manifest um all these sorts of things like manifestation is sexual energy because that's what the sacral chakra is right it's also with your it's all to do with your sexual energy right so what happens is even when people talk about kundalini and all these sorts of things you want to shoot the energy upwards to your crown so you can open yourself up so that's the main thing what scorpio is meant to do is they're meant to go into the higher chakras okay so they're not stuck in the lower in the lower wounding because like the collective is very wounded in the lower three chakras okay those are like the biggest collective wounds and the sacral chakra is a big one in there so for them like i mentioned it could man it could manifest into things like codependency um 
yeah, it can manifest into things like codependency, un abandonment mood, stagnancy, right? Uh, not feeling motivated, feeling lazy when you're in like the shadow aspect of it, right? Not feeling motivated, not feeling lazy. So things you can do is like if you're in that energy, you basically have to force yourself to do something different to switch up the vibes. It could be the smallest thing, you know, it could be like just taking a different way home, right? You switch up the energy and then it's kind of like you want to constantly be in like that inner child where it's like your... Um, like constantly in a state of wonder or in, in a state of excitement because that's also the sacral the sacral chakra i want to call it the sexual chakra but the sacral chakra right that's also the sexual energy is the excitement right is the excitement of a child which scorpio can be but what happens is they get overly consumed by a lot of people's energies because they're transmuting without realizing right their vessel is being used to transmute so when you get to like the point of like a higher level empath these will be people back in the day like singers right who are transmuting the energy of the crowd okay is really what's going on those are higher level empaths right they're basically taking the energy of the crowd they're raising the vibration through the sound and frequency of their voice this is more so back in the day not so much current day so that's kind of what's going on with scorpio is really what that is you really really want to be able to go into the higher chakras you want to be able to basically come out of the lower version aspects of scorpio where you're like lost in other people's energies and you're basically um taking out people's energies is really what that is okay and then you know not in your not in your not in yourself because what i find is like people who are more in the sacral need to go more in the solar plexus right so it's like if you're overly in the sacral you're more in like the feminine energy and what happens with scorpio when they're in the lower aspect is they're more in the shadow of the sacral right you want to go more into the solar plexus which is your masculine energy and your um power and your identity and all these things that's why scorpio has to figure out what their identity is so they don't merge with other people okay is really what that is okay is really what it is and like the thing is like i find that scorpio doesn't realize they're merging with other people is what that is also because again there's that ego thing going on where it's kind of like no i'm not but they're taking on the energies really is really what's happening okay with the scorpionic energy so that's really what's meant to happen like scorpio is really meant to come into the divine version of themselves which is to transmute is the main purpose they're meant to transmute energy they're meant to be able to manifest quickly they're meant to learn magic okay of the world and learn energy and learn energy work so people who have scorpionic energy in their chart could be interested in things like energy work energy healing all these sorts of things because they already have that naturally within them they already know these things maybe on a higher self level at first like when you're not aware okay but really this is what that is they really learn how to learn how to work with the undercurrents of energy because that's what scorpio is it's all the things that are beneath the surface okay all the things that are secret all the things that are hidden that's why a lot of the time they fall into the occult i forgot to mention that one right the shadow aspects of the occult you have the light aspects and then you have the shadow aspects so you even have the shadow aspects of the occult i mean i'm not going to go too much into detail of what they do but i mean some of you could know and you know you can definitely google it and like research it for yourselves but yeah the shadow aspect of the occult basically uses every single type of energy that we talked about in this video but in inverted in the shadow aspect of it okay of itself that's really what like dark magic is so that's really what's happening okay that's really what's happening with the scorpion energy i'm gonna wrap this video soon just because i wanted to go to 30 minutes um if you guys are interested in more because i can keep talking let me know okay because that's really what's going on with the scorpionic energy they're basically here to transmute energy they're here to become masters of the earth plane in that sense okay not through working in the physical plane but through working in the energetic plane so they're always working with energy they're learning energy they could be interested in things like chakras like i mentioned that like i mentioned chakras so many times but i just feel like people who know who have the scorpion energy understand chakras right you guys kind of have that subconscious energy right where you guys understand that you understand how to work with energy you guys understand how to manipulate energy all these sorts of things but it's like it's really important to come out of the shadow aspect of scorpio so you can come into the divine aspect so you can actually be the magician so you can be the master manifester, so you can be a healer, so you can be a creative, so you can be an artist, so you can be um, even a musician, like all these sorts of things, like expressing the scorpionic energy in a creative way is like what the ultimate thing is because you're transmuting. Not only are you transmuting your things, you could be transmuting things for your family line, but you're also transmuting other people's things, okay? You're transmuting other people's things because it's like Scorpio energy is like a mirror, I find. They're a mirror for people, right? A lot of the time because like they're water, it's like they take on the other person's shadows almost. Is really what that is with the Scorpionic energy. They almost take on the other person's shadows and they reflect it back to them. They reflect it back to them and it's kind of like again that's why it's really important to know your own identity and to know your own energy because it's kind of like wait was that my shadow or is that that person's shadow right so that's the best advice i can give for scorpios is to learn your own energy spend time on your own heal that abandonment wound so you guys can fully be solid in your person so you guys can go out there and actually like transmute in the way where it's like you're not taking it on 
and you're not like internalizing another person's shadow traits and shadow aspects all right my dear friends so i'm gonna wrap up this video here i do hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please do like share subscribe let me know in the comments below where you guys are tuning in from and i hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day